Hello there, my name is Aina Metra. Uh, welcome to the video. Um, as you know, I collect a lot of uh, Thomas Tank engine items um, in different ranges, uh, particularly the Ertl ones. And uh, these key rings are Ertl, uh, which I shall now show you. So here you can see uh, my collection of key rings. Um, if we look on the back of the uh, James one, you'll see that there is uh, 10 available. Uh, the only ones I don't have are Thomas, Percy, and Ben. Um, however, I do technically have Thomas because basically these key rings are the Ertl miniatures. Um, but the Ertl miniatures didn't have the key ring, and then these ones have the key ring bit uh, added. Um, and I bought all these um, for a good price. It was buy two, get the third free. And they were $1.99 each anyway, which I didn't think was a very bad price. I'm considering the price of a lot of other um, Ertl ones you can buy nowadays. Um, obviously the big ones, because they have become quite collectible. But it's not just the fact they're collectible. Some people obviously want a lot of money for them as well. Um, so you do have to be careful, but obviously I'm sure you know a good price when you see one. And you know, I, I have my limitations of how much I'd like to buy something. And obviously if I see something for a good price, but I see it think it's expensive, but it's better than other prices, and I'd still buy it if I can afford it. Um, the d I think the detail on these are quite good. Um, as you can see here, I've got Edward, and his face uh, looks quite good, and fairly similar to his one in the TV series. I think it's fair to say. Um, and Edward's the only one with the uh, not punch, so with the thing still inside it. You'll probably see the others don't have it. And according to this, this was made in 1997. Uh, then it shows you all the other ones you can buy. And the back, back of the box isn't too brilliant, but, you know, it's not bad. I've seen uh, things a lot worse. Um, so I've got James here. And his face uh, looks, fa again, fairly similar to his TV series model. Um, again, it says it was made in 1997. I think they all pretty much do. It uh, shows you the rest of the ones you can buy. And I think the detail on James is really good. Uh, the next one I've got is Bill. Um, and you can tell it's Bill, obviously, by the, the uh, fact this is Bill on this side. Um, there is Ben as well, but I don't have the Ben. Um, and again, the face is quite good. And the de detail is more or less there. Um, however, like the um, actual Ertl uh, model of Bill, they haven't painted the back of the cab the right colour. Um... But, you know, I still think it's quite good detail for how small it is. I think the um, same on all of them, really. I mean, you, and also the fact, you know, these are like children's uh, toys, and I suppose they're toys in a way, even though they're key rings. Um, in May, May 997. Um, the fact that they're toys, really, I mean, if you take the key ring bit off, it can be um, like a toy. Uh, I think the detail is quite good. And also, another thing I forgot to mention is they've got like little wheels underneath so they can roll along. Uh, next one to move on to is Toby. And I, I don't think the detail is quite as good on Toby's front. Um, and again, looking at his face, it's not 100% like uh, what it probably should look like. But again, they are very, very small. Um, and again, it says this one was made in 97, shows you all the ones you can buy. Um, but Toby is one of my favourite characters, and I'm quite, again, I'm quite pleased to uh, have it. Uh, the next one to move on to is Diesel, and I think Diesel is definitely one of the more detailed ones. Um, and again, his face looks really good. It looks, again, just like it does in the TV series. Um, and again, uh, made in 1997. Like I said, they were all made in 1997. Um, but yeah, so Diesel was definitely the most, I think, one of the most detailed. Um, but I think the one that's the most uh, detailed of all is uh, Trevor, uh, the traction engine. And the face on Trevor's very good. It looks again just like it did in the TV series. Um, you know, and the, obviously he's got his actual wheels. Um, you know, and also another thing important to add is that Trevor is the actual um, only road vehicle um, in the mini keyring range. 
So like I said, you've got all the engines, which again are on the back. Uh, so Thomas, Edward, James, Percy, Toby, Duck, Diesel, uh, Ben, Bill, um, and then Trevor. Obviously Trevor being the only vehicle. Uh, so yeah, I, re I really, I think Trevor's definitely my most favourite one in this uh, set. Um, and now we move on to Duck. Um, again, the face on Duck, it doesn't 100% look like it did in the TV series. However, I have got, as you know, a lot of the magazines. I used to get them on subscription. And the face on Duck on this model, I don't know if you can see. I'm probably see better than you can because obviously how small it is. Um, but it looks just like what it did in the magazine stories. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much. They're all the key rings that I've got. Um, I do actually have Percy and Diesel both actually out of the box. Um, they're about 50p each, I think, and someone actually brought those ones for me. And you probably saw those in one of my box there, all collection updates, because I think I showed them in one of them. Um, yeah, like I said, it'd be nice to get Ben, Percy and Thomas in the box as well, like I said, but I do technically have Thomas in that miniature range anyway. Um... Yeah, there's not been really a great deal more to say, really, but obviously, you know, I collect all sorts, really. Now I've got the bulk of my collection in the Ertl range, um, you know, I'm moving on to collecting other um, Ertl products that they made, uh, like this. Um, because, you know, and I think by far Ertl is definitely the best range um, out of all the ranges that they do. And it's such a shame they're not around nowadays, really, because I don't think a lot of them um, are as detailed. Um, I recently actually got some um, other take and play ones um, and I, I don't think the detail on them um, is quite the same um, you know I mean these were presents that people got for me really and you know I still think the details there and obviously for the maybe the generation growing up I mean at the end of the day they are children's toys so I suppose it's not all about the detail um, but when you're an adult collector it is a bit of a different uh, story I suppose it's fair to say uh, but thank you very much for watching this video uh, if you've got any questions you'd like to ask uh, please do uh, until next time, goodbye, and thanks for watching.